everyone, it's Kara coming to you for our Monday recipe. We are using the slow cooker option on our Instapot here today on high. But I wanted to show you what these look like before I put a top on every single one of them. This is called Crock-Pot Party Sandwiches. I got this off of the momswithcrockpots.com website and I'll link the recipe down below in the description box. But um, I'm making this gluten-free. So we are not using the Hawaiian roll pack that she says to use in the crock pot. We are using Energy's gluten-free dinner rolls, a six pack. They actually serve these on most cruises I've been on. So you take the bottom of the buns, you cut them in half. If you had the Hawaiian ones, you would cut them, you slice them all across in half. So the bottom part goes down first, then you put thinly sliced ham on there, which I'm using Hormel's all natural honey deli ham. And then you use provolone cheese. So I'm using Daya dairy free provolone slices since I'm allergic to dairy and gluten. And then you put those things on there. Then you put the tops on everybody. Parchment paper on the bottom. So my parchment paper happens to have foil on the back side of it. I like it's kind of more moldable. Moldable, that's hard to say. Um, anyway, so this is what they look like. Then you make the sauce that you pour over them. Okay, so here's the sauce. I have mixed it all together. Let me show you what's in it. We have a stick or half a cup of butter. We're using plant-based butter, country crock plant butter. Then I have two tablespoons brown sugar. We have two tables, actually three, I'm sorry, three tablespoons of organic cocoa aminos, which is in place of Worcestershire sauce. So you can use that in place of soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce if you're allergic to soy. And it tastes just like it, has the same consistency. Then we have two tablespoons of yellow mustard, Heinz, all of their products are gluten-free. And then a fourth of a teaspoon onion powder. So that's what's in here. I've mixed it all up. Now we're gonna take this over here and it says we're going to pour it all over and soak well each bun. So that's yes. what we're gonna do next. Soaked through every bun, poured them all over the sauce. So now, since this is an Instapot slow cooker we're using, we put the lid on and we want it to not be on sealing. So we want it to be on venting, venting. Don't seal it when you're doing the slow cooker. And then we're gonna put it on, we're so good, right here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it always helps if you plug it in. Hey, there's my Jack. Jack Skellington, say hello everyone. All right, so you plug it in and make sure it's on venting and then you put it on slow cook and we want it to an hour to an hour and 15 minutes on high. So I'm gonna go with an hour this is low. So on a slow cook setting, less is warm. This is low. High is this one. So we have to like cancel it, start over and move it over to high. Okay, now one hour on high, slow cook function. And then it'll start and there is no ceiling. So make sure it's on venting. And then when the time's up, you just it just stays on the keep warm and that keeps the sandwiches warm. And I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. All right, every done, everyone, our hour is up. Our sandwiches are done and they smell so good. I wish you could smell them. The cheese is melted and they are ready to serve. I highly encourage you try this one. It's really good. Okay, you're definitely gonna want a fork to eat these with because they're real messy because the sauce is on it, but yummy, yummy.